dinner. And she threw a glass at me. She threw a glass at you? One of you threw a glass at me. It was not me. And if you throw a glass, if I throw a glass, you're going to know it. That's the wrong girl. I'm telling you that right now. Can we get a play-by-play of, like, how many glasses are thrown? Who threw what first? Because Margaret just... and I left. We left. I didn't break a glass. I didn't break a glass. I just threw the wine. It went by so fast. It I was, really like yeah, it's it. It's like just half a really of it is a heated, blur. We all blanked me. out, but I don't know. Somebody said Jen pushed me. I didn't even feel it. I said Danielle was like a lobster in a pot. Every limb was going in every direction, <laughs> trying to get out at the bottom of the stairs. And I do tend to get very frustrated and I take my frustrations out on the stemware. No glass is safe when I'm angry. I, don't, I mean, I don't know where Jennifer gets off breaking a glass and threatening Melissa. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think then Jen started playing like glass breaking. She was turning them into, what do they call that? <laughs> Shivs? She was like, I got a shiv and I'm like, Oh wait, you just stole my line. Like, <laughs> I break glasses. I don't know what goes through my head. A shiv? I've never heard of that. Yeah, I think it's what you use. Is that what the name for? Right? That was pretty hot. That kind of turned me on. Yeah, me too, a little bit. I was like, damn, okay. Thinking outside like, the box you there. Know if you, you know, because, you know, because Melissa thought she hit her with the glass or whatever. She's like, if, if, I, if I did, you would know it. Oh, she said that too. Yeah. yeah I was like, wow. I like that. I got a little juicy. <laughs> the glass, I got agitated because the piece of glass did hit my leg. So I was like, if that would have hit my eye, like who's breaking, who's throwing glasses? Like yeah. that's not cool. But the red wine on a white uh, gown. I was so mad about that. I and I that. had white on too. And Oh yeah. I was, I was praying I was, a little bit got on her yeah. just so she could see. I'm sorry, if, but I was like, no, if red please wine tell me some of that got on me. I would have been so Standing pissed. right next to each other. You know, it's like I haven't eaten in weeks. And like I wanted to eat and enjoy my meal. You, hold on, should we sit down and have a nice sophisticated dinner after that? Like, no, we're not gonna freaking have dinner together. Best fight in housewife history, don't tell me it's not. I've been thinking about my daughter and how I want her to see how I'm a working mom and I own my own business and I don't rely on her daddy for everything. But Joe looks at Envy like it's a big hobby. And he puts right. him down sometimes. Like he'll say to Antonio, like, what do you wanna do? Go dress mannequins like your mother? Oh no. You should ask him to tone that down. Why do you think that she's worried about how you say things about her job in front of Antonia? I mean, I think she's just worried about that I might, um, I'm belittling her career, you know, which I'm really not. I've always been very independent, and just because I fell in love with someone that kind of took care of me and I, I didn't have to run around and go to work anymore, it didn't mean I didn't want to. I'm certified K through eight, I'm an elementary school teacher. When I graduated college, I got hired for a third grade classroom. You know, he was kind of persuading me to not accept the job that, you know, he's like, I, you know, we don't need you to go to work, and when I want to go on vacation, you don't need to have a boss telling you you can. And then I was like, okay, you know, you're right, we'll grow our business. That was her choice. I, listen, I didn't hold her down and with a whip and chains. I didn't do anything. I basically, she, she fell in love. I fell in love. We met, three months later she moved into my home. 10 months later we were married. A year later we had a daughter. We had our first child. So it's nothing I did, it's just. It's life. Life. You know, I, I, I just want what's best for my daughter. I don't mind the independence. I'm, I'm more worried about her losing herself as a woman. Certain people lose themselves. Just like I have a role. I'm a husband and a father. And that's, that's my role. I'm not this big businessman that I, I am, but I'm, I'm first a husband and a father. And I'm never going to forget that. If Antonia grew up to have a great career, did everything she loved, but maybe never got married or had kids, would that bother you? Or would you be happy if that's what Listen, you Listen, I, I think getting married and having children is like a beautiful part of life, personally. Like, it's it's amazing to, to, to have that bond. And I'm not saying like, you need to just go to work and never get married and have kids. I'm not saying that. I mean, if that's what she chooses, then that's what she chooses. It would definitely bother me, because I am, I am a family guy and my goal in life was to have children and have my grandkids. That's what I'm waiting for in life. It's not, I don't care about money, cars, real estate, homes, jewelry. That's all nonsense to me. 
I care about family and life, and that's what I'm looking for to. I would love for her to have it all, where she can experience motherhood, she can experience being a wife, and she can have her, her success. So, I mean, to each their own. I would never judge her, but I would love for her to have that also. I'm in no hurry. But do you want Dolores to be happy with someone else? Honestly, she made me think. Do I hold you back from moving forward in a relationship? Do I hold you back from getting engaged? Would you not move in with David because of me? Um... Because I don't ever want to feel that that's what I'm doing. Ah, uh, it surprised me. Uh, it, it would definitely, you know, hit me at the heart because Dolores and I have a, an incredible relationship. Not everybody understands it, you know, because we were best friends before we got married. She'll say, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good provider, I'm a great father. Uh, the whole husband thing, I, I didn't do very well at, right? But so why can't we still be best friends? Especially now we have two beautiful kids. But when, when she was telling me, it was more of like a crutch, you know? Then I start thinking, oh my God, it's a crutch. And then she wants to take actions to distance herself. Like, you know, it's, it's like your best friend. You know, it's like your best friend where you get nervous. Oh, wow, you know, what's gonna happen? Do you regret living with Frank for so long? No, not at all. Do you regret having a roommate? <laughs> that, that does everything for you? The husband-wife relationship is gone. I'll be honest with you. Honestly, I got all the benefits right now. All right, I got all the benefits other than the sex. All right. Listen, we always we helped Do each you other miss the as sex? a couple. No. Oh, is that what you're asking? <laughs> no. It never changed. Outside of getting divorced and Wait, having from us. When you were, like, how long are you guys were actually married? So well, you uh, cheated. Four years. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, but I met him together ten years. No. Yeah. Together ten years. Now, hypothetically, if you two were not with your partners, would you ever consider living with an ex? I'd rather kill myself. It depends what ex. I mean, no. I mean, no. Unless she was like amazing in bed. Yeah, I, I, I live with her, so I, you know, I could have something else, and I'd have her still, and I, I'm not tied to her. Like, yeah, no, I, yeah. No, unfortunately, that's not my relationship. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know. Nope. All right, but Dolores, listen, I, I love Dolores unconditionally. All right. And, and and he's still banging her. <laughs> I think so. No, we get along fine because I'm not banging her. I worry about being able, God forbid, we did sleep together, a relationship. I don't know if I could ever give her that. And then, you know, why don't you have sex with me? She's not gonna be able to have sex with somebody else. Here we All go. Right? Oh, here we right? go. You know. I've asked him. I don't believe him. He's, they're definitely doing say? it. Listen, here's what they're doing. They're closet doers. <laughs> closet That's doers. That's what they are. Closet they lie do. about everything, and because they don't want to tell everybody, but every they sneak away. You know what, they're, they're really... E -e -e -e, they're like little rabbits. They're a perfect little match. Rabbit, bro. You're a perfect match. I'm 260 pounds. How am I going to be like a little rabbit? You are. Because okay. you're a big fat rabbit. All right, there you go, man. <laughs> I'm really happy that you answered the phone. Everyone is good. Once I could hear in her voice that she wanted to talk to me, it makes me realize how much I've missed having a sister. Jackie, it was really nice to see you reconcile with your sister. What's the reason you guys stopped talking? We just never, we never got along. There wasn't one thing that happened. We just, we never connected as sisters. We had no real relationship ever. And as children, we always had to be together. But as soon as we reached adulthood, we really just didn't want anything to do with each other. And every time we were together, we just didn't, we just didn't get along. And at a certain point, it became too negative And we just decided that our lives were happier without each other in it. And I rode that for a long time until, I don't know, I feel like as you reach 40, and this is just me, you get closer to 40, you realize that not everything is black and white and that you, you can go back and, and mend fences. And I just, I saw how hard it was for my parents to never have all their grandkids, grandkids together in one place. And, and I saw my own children and thinking about, you know, one day them potentially not speaking to each other and all of it just was on my mind for a few years about, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to try. We're not best friends, but this summer we got together um, a bunch of times with our kids and she reached out to me a few times. All it took was me reaching out to her. She was very open to it. And my parents love it. And look, are we going to lunch once a week? No, absolutely not. I do call her, I check in. You know, we get together now. It's it's fun, it's nice. It's nice to have a sister. There's a lot of people in the world who are not gonna root for you. You know, you should be close with your blood.